This is our web-based video explaining our culinary arts program. My name is Chef Mary Beth Barton, and I'd like to give you a little insight into how our department works. Foundation. Foundation. I'm Chef George Kelly. I'm a chef instructor here at Bunker Hill Community College. Here at Bunker Hill Community College, we have three options for students to choose uh, in the culinary field. One of the options is the um, degree in culinary arts. The other is a certificate in culinary arts. And the final is, of course, the pastry arts certificate. So we have one degree program and two certificate programs here at Bunker Hill Community College. Now, of course, if you go for the degree program, uh, it involves taking more classes, uh, especially more of the general education classes, uh, along with your core classes in culinary arts. Uh, that's a 63 credit program, and the time commitment for that usually runs uh, uh, at least two years if you're taking uh, full-time class load. Any culinary student here at Bunker Hill Community College must buy uh, a uniform, complete uniform, and a knife kit. Everything from the chef's hat, to the chef's jacket, to the name tag, to the apron, to the chef's pants, and then finally the non-skid black safety shoe that's required to work in the kitchen. The Culinary Arts Certificate program is scheduled for Friday evenings from 6 to 7.15 for related courses and all day Saturday from 8 to 4. They meet in the baking class from 8 to noon and then from noon to 4 they would have their kitchen class. So that's the Culinary Arts Certificate. The Pastry Arts Certificate meets uh, Monday through Thursday. They're required to take their 29 credits. Monday and Wednesday the labs meet either 8.30 to 2.15 or 2.30 to 8.15 depending on which session they register for. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we offer other courses like the cake decorating course and the classical pastry course, and they're required to take them on those days. The full-time associate's degree in culinary arts has those same labs Monday and Wednesday for first-year students, either the option from 8.30 to 2.15 or 2.30 to 8.15, and then on their sophomore year, they meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8.30 to 2.15. All of their other courses are taken, the general education courses, as they're offered during the semester. And that often changes from semester to semester, depending on when the other departments opt to offer those. The students in the associate's degree in culinary arts are required to do an internship. It takes place in the summer between their first and second year, and it, they're required to work 150 hours in the placement. We do ask the students to try to find their own placement first because obviously the, where they want to work is important to them. If they have difficulty finding a placement, then their chef advisor helps them find a placement. We've certainly given you a lot of information today. You can feel free at any time to reach any of the culinary arts instructors at Bunker Hill through our website, through email, or through phoning the culinary arts department. If you have any additional questions, we do offer orientations during the summer and tours through the college as well. Thanks for watching.